Hey guys, today I am going to talk about plants that do well in low light conditions. Everybody loves house plants, but everyone does not has the space that basks in natural light. And you may have one too many dead plants to prove that. But that does not mean you have to give up indoor plants for good. The key is just choosing plants that do well in a low light environment. Low light plants are great solutions for spaces that do not have an abundance of natural light. A plant can tolerate low light levels does not mean that it does not want light or that it does not require just as much care. For more such videos, please subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon. One should keep in mind these things before placing your plants in low light areas. Monitor soil moisture. Less natural light for plants also means less solar heat to dry out the soil. Plant needs to dry out between waterings. Put your fingers 2 to 3 inch into the soil and feel how moist or dry the soil is. Dust can affect the little amount of light that the plant is getting. Always remember to clean the plant's leaves with a soft and damp cloth. Check monthly for pests before it spreads to other plants. Slightly rotating the plants every month will help encourage even growth. Low light plants do not require as much fertilization. The first plant in our list is Pothos, also known as money plant or devil's ivy. They are nearly indestructible and do well with neglect. They are great at telling you what they need and the leaves will often wilt when the plant needs watering. They require low to bright indirect light. I have 3 to 4 different varieties of pothos. This one is uh, Pothos Neon or Golden Money Plant. This variegated version of Pothos is similar to uh, Pothos Marble Queen. And the other I have has dark green colored leaves. This one is slightly variegated. Zizi plant. It is one of my favorite plant. They will actually grow somewhat well with typical household or office lighting and have roots similar to a succulent, allowing it to go longer periods without watering. They are great plant for beginners or those who are not home very often. 
these can thrive on neglect just make sure to water once a week and let the soil dry out between waterings they are toxic to humans and pets if ingested they thrive in low to bright indirect light snake plant also known as sensivaria or mother in law's tongue it is majorly popular in interior design because they are fairly low maintenance they can thrive in both bright light and low light but water intake will depend on how much light they get they are known for their hardiness and ability to take neglect similar to zz they can go longer periods without water and can do well with artificial lighting limit your snake plants water intake they are much more tolerant of drought than over watering so let the soil thoroughly dry out between waterings they need well draining succulent soil rubber plant or ficus elastica they are a great choice for their foliage and they thrive in low light conditions they have the ability to grow very large and almost tree like rubber plant tend to dry out quickly and require more watering than other plants but will tolerate a little neglect if we forget about them now and then As per NASA, rubber plant removes toxic compounds from our air. Chinese evergreen, also known as aglonema. Aglonemas are one of the easiest to care for house plant. For low light environments, stick to darker varieties as more colorful leaves may grow less vibrant without enough light though they will survive I have four different varieties of aglonemas and what I really like about them is their foliage and color variation They grow in humid environments. So mist your plant often and don't let the soil dry out completely. They are very slow growing. Peace lily or spathiphyllum. They are fairly easy to maintain, fast growing and tolerate lower light levels. However, they are very dramatic. when they do not get enough water the leaves will wilt and droop when the soil is too dry however they bounce back once they are watered again they also give flowers if kept outside Peace lily is toxic to pets and humans if consumed. Peperomia. These are very trendy plant options these days because their leaves hold water like a succulent does. They prefer to be on the drier side. Water them once a week but let the soil dry out completely before watering next. keep them out of direct sun they prefer low to bright indirect light diphenbachia or dump cane they are very easy to grow house plant they require medium to high light they like moist soil 
and can tolerate some soil drying they love humidity so always remember to mist them with a sprayer and wipe their leaves with a damp cloth to remove dust they can do well when grown under artificial light lucky bamboo in actual it's not a bamboo but it's a part of dracaena genus it is said to bring good luck and happiness it's an easy plant to care which makes it great for offices and homes it's happy growing in soil or water if growing in water it should be replaced every week if planted in soil the soil should be kept slightly damp tap water is okay for bamboo plant as long as chlorine levels are low use filtered water if you have high levels of fluoride in your tap water syngonium also known as arrowhead plant because its leaves have three cuts which looks similar to an arrowhead it is quick growing ornamental foliage plant with trailing habits they come in different sizes this plant likes bright location but grows better in semi shade it does not mind low light conditions for a long time Syngonium likes hot and humid climate and it needs moderate watering and can be allowed to climb on a moss stick. Mist your plant in dry conditions. Philodendron Philodendron family is a pretty big one. You can find a variety of plants that grow in a range of shapes, sizes and colors. These grow best in medium or bright light but tolerate low light exceedingly well. Water them when the soil surface dries. They don't mind if we forget to water them now and then. We typically don't need to fertilize them much. Just feed them once or twice a year in spring and summer. They are a good air purifier and super easy to grow.